Let us try to understand how to solve a distance speed time problem using two variables. Question is, Tom took 1900 kilometer trip traveling by bus and plane. The bus averaged 60 kilometers per hour and the plane averaged 700 kilometers per hour. If the trip took five hours, how many kilometers did he travel by bus? Now to solve these problems, first let's understand the relation between distance, speed and time. And that is our triangle, which relates distance, speed and time. So distance is product of speed and time. So we write like this, distance is speed into time. Time will be distance divided by speed. So that is how they are related. And now we can translate this information in tabular form and then try to solve it. So let's see, we'll make columns for distance, speed and time and see how it can be solved, right? So that is our table and we'll put information regarding distance, speed and time here. Distance is being measured in kilometers. Let me write kilometers and speed is in kilometers per hour and time will be in hours for us. Now, let's read the question once again. Tom took 1900 kilometer trip traveling by bus and plane. So we are traveling by bus and plane and total distance covered is 1900 kilometers. That is what it means. A bus, the bus averaged 60 kilometers per hour and the plane averaged 700 kilometers per hour. So that is the speed. 60 kilometers per hour for bus and 700 kilometers per hour for the plane. If the trip took 5 hours, how many kilometers did he travel by bus? So how many by bus? That means variable. So we'll put x kilometer by bus and total trip time is 5 hours. So we'll write total time here. So that is our total, right? So whatever we will do, we'll write sum or total here at the end. So total time is 5 kilometers for us. Now let's get back to the question and define our variables. Now the variable here is let x be the distance traveled by bus and let y be the distance traveled by plane. So that is our variable. So let statement is let x and y be distance traveled by bus and plane respectively. So we have defined our variables. Now we can figure out the relation between them. Relation is x plus y is 1900 since that is the total distance, right? So x plus y equals to 1900. So when we have two variables, it's a good idea to write one in terms of another. So we can write from here y equals to 1900. Why we write, we are writing in terms of y y equals to 1900 minus x. Since we want x to be there, right, this is what we want to know. How many kilometers did he travel by bus? So we'll get equation in x, we'll solve for it and get our answer. Now, time. From this relation, we know time is distance divided by speed. So time taken during this trip by bus will be how much distance of x divided by speed which is 60. How about plane? Distance of y and y for us is 1900 minus x. So instead of y, now I'll write 1900 minus x. So we have 1900 minus x. Total was 1900. So y is 1900 minus x divided by the speed of 700. Right? So we have used equation 1 here to relate distance traveled by plane with distance traveled by bus. Now you notice 
If you add these two times, you should get 5 hours. Since the total time taken is 5 hours for the trip of 1900 kilometers. So we get our equation which is x over 60 plus 1900 minus x over 700 and that should be equals to 5. Okay. Now we can take common denominator and solve for x. So the common denominator here is 4200. 7 times 6 and then 4200. So to get 4200 we need to multiply this by 70, right? So we get 70 times x plus, and this should be multiplied by 6. 6 times 7 is 42, 4200. So 6 times 1900 minus x equals to 5. Correct? So we can use calculator, multiply all this, and then we'll take multiply both sides by 4200 to get rid of fractions. So let's do that. So we get 70x plus 6 times 1900. Let me use the calculator now. 6 times 1900 is equal to 11400. So we get 11400 minus 6x equals to 5 times 4200. Okay. Now this 70x minus 6x will give us 64x equals to, we'll have here 4200 times 5, which is 21,000, 21,000 minus 11,400, minus 11,400, correct? Now, and this is equal to, we'll do 21,000 minus 11,400. 9600 which is 9600 right so from here we can calculate what x is so let me take it to the right side and do further calculations right so we have our equation which is 64x is equals to 9600 so from here x is equals to 9600 divided by 64 so 9600 divided by 64 gives us 150, right? And what is x? x is the distance traveled by bus. And now we can write down our answer. That is, distance traveled by bus is 150 kilometer, correct? So that is how you are going to solve it. So the strategy here is, first, put the information properly in a tabular form. Right, like we have distance, speed, time. Knowing the relation that distance is speed into time, remember this triangle. Now, when you put the information in the tabular form, identify the variables. Variables are dependent on what you need to find. It says how many kilometers did he travel by bus? Start with that. Let x be the distance traveled by bus, y for plane, total distance 1900. And time, distance divided by speed, total time 5, add them up, equate to 5, solve, and put down your answer with units. So that is the strategy to be followed in such problem. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.